Hi guys and welcome to my first little bit of content for Emily at E Equine and of course all of you guys. So this is a video to go alongside my Find Your Focus worksheet which I have got for you here. Um, you can download this off the, off, off the website and basically this sheet is to help you find your focus. At the moment nobody knows exactly what they're doing and there's a lot of people sort of floating around thinking should I, shouldn't I, what can I do, what can't I do, um, all the normal work routines have been lost. So this sheet is just really a quick flash through how to set some goals and come up with a little plan to help you think forwards in the next month or two. So the first thing that I ask you to think about on this sheet is what is your ultimate goal for this year? So no doubt all of you have plenty of goals and plans that you had there in place ready to go and get. And then within a couple of weeks, they've all what seems to be taken away from you. But what I would ask you guys to think about is, of course, you're allowed to be sad. Of course, you're allowed to take your time and, and actually think, God, this is a horrible situation. I would ask you to actually take a moment and think, OK, but how could I still work towards my ultimate goals? The chances are that your ultimate goals probably were an outcome goal based on an event or a competition that you really wanted to do, or maybe a score or a placing that you really wanted to achieve. It doesn't mean you have to stop working towards it. So have a little think about what elements make up that ultimate goal. So there might be several ones and I've given you a big enough box in here to make sure that you can write them, draw them, uh, list them down in bullet points, whatever suits you. Then take those ultimate goals and decide actually where am I now? And again here you can draw where you're at, you can so just bullet point it, you can write it down, whatever you fancy. But this box here is for you to actually write down where you are at now, how you're feeling, where your horse is at. Um, and then from there, we can actually use this whole space to make a step by step guide to get to the point of where you want to be. Now, this is set up to be a monthly sheet. This is one for April. Um, so actually, you can take every little bite size that adds up to where you want to be. But I would say definitely fill in where you are now and where you want to be first and then work back up to all the little things that add up to make that. And think laterally, think outside the box. It might be things such as your core strength, your coordination. Uh, it might just be that actually you need to practice the movement or understand the movement. So, for example, if my goal for this month was that I really wanted to improve my counter transitions uh, because my ultimate goal for the year was to be able to compete at elementary and I need to be able to do simple changes. So walk to counter and counter to walk then actually I can break that down and really focus on that this month. And there's loads of different ways you can do that. So, for example, where I am now is that I can do a trot to canter, but the horse does run a couple of steps and I'm not happy with my position in that. So then the next step that you will take is go, OK, well, actually, do I understand enough about this transition? Do I really understand the clarity of the aids? And of course, at this time, you might not be able to get in touch with you. Know, have a lesson face to face. But what you can do is look it up, look up what the aids are. Text your coach, ask them, have a video call with them, really discuss the details of it and make notes on it so that you can visualise riding it. Then you might say, OK, actually, I've done that. And my next step might be actually that I need to now go and practice the elements of this. You know, can you do your sitting trot and hold your balance? Do you need to practice going, sitting, and rising, sitting and rising until the horse is relaxed about it and both of you feel like you can hold decent balance in it? Are you sure that your aids are clear and you are asking with all four of your limbs doing the correct job? Then it might be that you need to practice doing these transitions. They've got a lot. They might get a lot better, but you might need to practice in doing them at the marker or on a curved line or on a straight line and then building it up to exactly where you want to be at the end of this month. 
So to help you do that and go into even more detail, I've given you a little bit of a calendar here. Again, this is April's one, and this is for you to break down exactly what you're gonna do with your horse. Now, obviously in the current situation, it might be a case of that actually you can't hack out or you can't go cantering around the fields at the moment because you're trying to minimize the risk. No problem. But what you can do is continue to work towards your goals even by doing unmounted things, by researching, by watching videos, by doing in hand stuff, getting the horse a little bit more supple or engaged over poles. There's loads of things you can still do. And by having a calendar to write it on, hold you accountable for actually making sure it happened. If you write it down, you are more likely to achieve it. My top tip for doing this calendar though, is to actually give yourself a theme of the week. So for example, your theme might be, you know, the first week, uh, impulsion. Have you got enough impulsion? For the next week, it might be straightness. For the following week, it might be suppleness. For the for next week, it might be uh, ability to keep the horse obedient. You know, all of these things are really good subjects. And I think actually, if you then work back, you've now got a focus every week for a session. And that doesn't mean that you have to do flat work every day. But what it means is you could do riding around obstacles. You could do this on the lunge. You could do this long reining. There's loads of different things that actually you could do that still push you forward towards that goal. So I guess my whole point of this having this find your focus worksheet is to actually really give you something that you can focus on. The other thing that I would highly recommend is having a training journal. They're super important and a great way to reflect on what's happened in your sessions. This also means that you might be able to plan your next session before you actually do it, keeping your focus and your motivation. Let me know how you get on and I hope that you can keep your focus through this tough time. See you later.